Today we keep on ice cream trucking. Let's talk about that. Good mythical summer. Welcome back to day two of our two day ice cream truck taste test. Okay, we're not tasting ice cream trucks, we're tasting ice cream. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and as a reminder, we're off tomorrow, but we're premiering a brand new video on Mythical Society. Here's a sneak peek. Hello? Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Hey, Mom. Check out mythicalsociety.com for exclusive Mythical Beast experiences and offerings, including new videos featuring our team members every Thursday this summer. Very excited about those new videos yes. over there. Uh, if you're coming to one of our live shows this summer and you're a Mythical Society third tier member, then you also have a chance to hang with us backstage. Go to mythicalsociety.com to join and retinlinklive.com for tour tickets. Now yesterday, Link, myself, and you collectively moved Drumstick to the top of the leaderboard with 23 points. Will it keep the number one spot or will it get frozen out? It's time for We're gonna take ice cream from the old time truck. We're gonna taste till we can't no more. We're gonna try the treats and pick the best. It's a big ice cream truck taste test. All right, so we got five ice creams to taste and look, Josh, the creepy ice cream truck driver is back to give them to us. Hey, do you know you don't legally need a driver's license to drive one of these things? Oh gosh. Mm, that that's not surprising at all. It does explain a lot. Here's what we got left. We got Choco Taco, chocolate chip cookie sandwich, strawberry shortcake, snow cone, and ice cream sandwich. Let's do it. Round, Round one. one. Okay, Link, since you are icier than me, why don't you pick first today? I'll uh, have two ice cream sandwiches, please. Oh! Two sandy creams. <laughs> the old standby, the ice cream sandwich. Yeah, I mean, I like these um, because they, oh gosh, it's kind of melted. You're gonna have to just, you gotta extract it, it. It gives you something to hold on to that's not too melty. But you can do this, look, you can, this is advanced techniques. You don't, but you don't even need to do that. And if you get a little bit of that chocolate on your finger, you just lick it right off. That's just fun. That ain't it. Sink it. Very biteable. But it protects your teeth because it's got yeah. the padding. It makes ice cream biting possible for people like me, which m makes me feel empowered. Now, my mom also had these in the freezer. Good gracious, that woman kept everything. You might think this is boring. It's so but, succulent. Yeah, it's um, it's kind of magical. Man, I forgot how good the ice cream sandwiches are. Do you know that there are 46 ice cream sandwiches eaten every second in America? Well, That's just... 98 every two seconds. I didn't think I was gonna go high with this one, but I'm I'm very much compelled to do it. It's um, it's very, very, very good. It's not exciting, but it's so tasty. I, I I'm gonna give it a seven. Wow. Right. Seven. Don't let me sway you. I'm gonna give it an eight. Wow. It's it's so simple, but what did the so mythical good. beast give? The mythical beast gave it a seven, which brings the total to twenty-two. Oh, it didn't beat a drumstick, no. Are you happy, Morgan? <laughs> Round two. Okay, let's get interesting with the strawberry shortcake. Hmm. Never had this. I've never had it either. Seems like something I would have been all over, but. Now look at that. Oh, it's, it's like. It's got a coating. Of of confetti. Confetti coating. Dink it, sink it. You wanna bite pretty deep so you can get to the next layer. Oh, really? Yeah. Is that cake? What is that on the outside, Josh? It's a crumb coating. It's meant to mimic the approximate 200 seeds on the outside of every strawberry. No, it's not. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you disagree with me, I'll just say okay. <laughs> Sounds good. His feelings are hurt, but he's being positive about it. There's uh, there's cake. Is it, it cake? It no. makes it biteable. Like, it's not cake, I keep thinking it's cake. It's not, it's just I, more ice cream. I don't wanna overemphasize what this means to me, but the fact that I can bite this is, so if something I feel like I'm always opening up a world. If something has a protective coating, mm -hmm. 
You can bite it. Does that make you feel empowered? Mm-hmm. And I typically don't like strawberry I'm eating, flavor I'm eating things. very fast. Uh, I'm more of a chocolatey man, but this is tasty though. It's better than I expected. A lot better. I gotta say, I like strawberry stuff. More. Like I'll get a strawberry ice cream every once in a while, but there's something about this that has a little bit of a manufactured fruity taste, which is rubbing me the wrong way, but I'm gonna give it a solid seven. I'm gonna give it a seven. Mm. Yeah, I, I can't go that far. I'm gonna give it a five. And the MBs gave it a six, which brings our total to 18. Man. Whoa, it... You're getting good at that. Uh, come on. I quit. Round three. Josh, I'll take the chocolate chip cookie sandwich. Mm. All righty. Mm. Two of them. This sounds like a good idea. Now, I've definitely had one of these. They had these in the uh, convenience store that was in our dorm room. I never have one of those there. I have them regularly. Um, I mean, there's whole shops now that'll serve ice cream in this manner, like in different yep. sandwiches. So this has gotten fancy, but can the old school truck version win us over? Hey, do you know that in Scotland and Ireland, they call these sliders? Also, did you know that I'm not allowed to leave the state by court order, so I travel in my mind by reading? <laughs> That's a, that's a strategy. <laughs> but don't take my word for it. Um, this is, no, it's really good. This is really good. Is it better than a regular ice cream sandwich? Yes. There's something about the ice cream sandwich material that is really nostalgic to me that's yep. making me like it. Yeah. But these cookies are really good and it also has chocolate chips around the whole outside. Lots of great detailing. Um, I'm gonna give it an eight. Hmm. That's really good. It doesn't have the crunch that I'm after mm -hmm. from the drumstick, Okay, but it's really good. I'm gonna give it an eight as well. And the Mythical Beasts? They gave it a six, which brings the total to 22. Look at that. They tied, ice cream sandwich is tied. Round four. All right, let's try a snow cone. Okay. Snow cone at an ice cream truck? Yeah, now this isn't like the kind of snow cone that you might get at a snow cone truck where the guy's gonna make it for you. This is pre-packaged yes. snow coneness. What? How could that be good? Like this is this is bubblegum flavored. Open? Blue raspberry banana cherry. They're throwing everything they got at it. Free gumball inside. Well, if you dig deep who's enough. Go, who's gonna get to that first? Think it? Oh, it's now. This is going to be hard. difficult for you. There's no. Do you need me to apply a protective coating to it? Oh gosh, that's bad, guys. Oh, it's so hard because, I mean, it's not freshly made. Even it's, strong tooth man can't it's do like, it. Like, <sighs> I'm just going to try. It. Look, there's the gumball. Where'd you get that? It's just down in the bottom. Oh. Oh. Well, I know what that tastes like. I can't. I can't do it. Now the thing I will say about <laughs> like I get, look at look at my chill bumps. Watch, watch me do this though. Is this gonna give you chill bumps? Ah! Oh, that's horrifying, man. Click away! Click away! Don't click away, please. Oh, they're gone. They're gone, man. It's over. No one's watching. It's so icy. Did you know that the first flavor of snow cone in the 1800s was thought to be egg custard, which could help explain why my van smells so strongly of eggs, but probably doesn't. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, because of the history of the item that you sell that doesn't That's have That's my story, custard. I'm sticking to it. There's probably something else, Josh. I cook a lot of eggs in the van. Uh, I, I was not able to taste this at all because I was not able to consume it. Yeah, I mean, this is just a, this is just a solid chunk of ice with some nasty flavoring on it. And a gumball in the bottom. And let me tell you, the gumball is absolutely horrible as well. Zero points from me. I don't believe in giving anything zero points, uh, so I'm gonna give it one. The MBs gave this a four, which brings the score to five. Surprisingly, they gave the SpongeBob Popsicle a lower score <laughs> than the Snow Cone. Well, they're both real bad, so to each his own. Round five. Okay, Josh, we have saved the Choco Taco for last. I think this one has a lot of potential. It feels like it's kind of like the drumstick, but a different formation. Right, there's there's lots here. 
since we love the drumstick, I think we were subconsciously saving this one hmm. to okay. see if it could beat it. But maybe Obviously, we're wrong. It's a taco, not a not a uh, ice cream cone. I will say, right off the bat, the problem that you pointed out about the drumstick was the nuts falling off, and they put the nuts into the chocolate. Mm -hmm. No nut fall off with this one, and. You know we're fans of weird food combinations, so this is kind of a will it taco situation. A little bit. Mm -hmm. And did you know in Italy and Sweden, they were actually marketed under the term winter taco. Winter taco? No, uh, winner taco. I can't hear you through your mustache. Winter? Uh, winner, winner. Winner taco. Winner. Oh, winner. Now, it squished so much when I bit it. Right. But I'm yeah. gonna peel back this layer. There's a lining of chocolate on the entire taco shell. Oh, the wow. whole thing yeah, is look, lined with chocolate. Look at that. There's there's lots of hidden treasures in here. Is it just vanilla ice cream? Because it looks like it has a no, chocolate swirl. There are chocolate ribbons in the ice cream itself. My only complaint is the crispiness of the, of the shell is nothing like mm -hmm. a drumstick. But everything else about, I mean, it tastes great. You would expect the shell to have a crunch. It has none. It's it's like soggy cardboard, but it does make it uh, very biteable mm. from the get go. So mm. Mm. to me, that kind of evens out. Um, I'm not experiencing as much of the nuttiness either. Something about the nuts just being out there, just raw, right in your face, uh, like it is on the drumstick. Something about that is better for me. I don't know, man. I thought that this was gonna be an improved version of the drumstick, and I don't know if it's because mama kept those in the freezer and she didn't keep these in the freezer. Well, your mama didn't keep them in my freezer, and <laughs> I am agreeing, this is not as good. I don't know what our, what, what did I rate the drumstick at, seven? Because I gotta go lower. Yep. You gave it a seven. Okay, well then, my scale just ends at seven, and I'm gonna give this a six. <laughs> and I'm gonna give it, uh, I had such high expectations for this, I'm gonna give it a seven. The MBs also gave it a six, which brings its score to 19. And puts it in fourth place. Ooh. Okay, well that means that the official best ice cream on an ice cream truck, according to us and you, is the drumstick. Let's place it in the official gold cone of ice cream truck greatness. And now this drumstick will be permanently displayed on Rhett's mom's bedside table. Just give her a call if you want to see it. <laughs> Yesterday, we turned Link into a human-sized ice cream sundae. You can go to our Facebook to watch that right now. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hi, my name is Samantha, and this is my dad, Rick, and we are from Boise, Idaho. And it's time to spin the wheel of Mrs. Calloway. <laughs> ah, Almost. Joke. Click the top link to watch us try some of your favorite ice cream toppings and good mythical more. And to find out where the will of mythicality is gonna land. Got some hair, got some lips, got some stank? Get your groom on with the Mythical Grooming Collection available now at mythical.store.